Have you ever tried duck sausage? Duck sausage? Yeah. Well, duck on down here and get yeah. you some. Welcome to an episode of Hoover's House. I got a great guest from basically my hometown of where I grew up at. Um, he's in more bands than girls that I've that actually have been faithful to me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, his name's Scott White. He is a musician, a father, a husband, a friend, and we're gonna get to hear all about him today. I'm gonna dive in on. I just met him in the alleyway at our new location, which was kind of creepy, but I can't wait for you guys to hear from him. What's up? Uh, Scott, right? Yes, sir. You got a middle name? Are you going to tell us that? No, you don't have to. Scott is my middle name. <laughs> Ooh, is that short for Scott? Uh, Scottish? It's a mystery now. <laughs> oh, no. How many bands do you have going right now? Oh, God. Um, actively, I mean, I'm in several that are just kind of, we're not doing a whole lot with at the moment. Mm -hmm. Actively, really, three. Three? And that's yeah. that's paying the bills for you right now, right? Kind of. Well, you know, at least. It's a work in progress. That's right. That's right. <laughs> paying part of them. What is the pros you get away from that, you think? The pros would definitely be it puts myself out there more. Yeah. I get more exposure personally. And maybe versatility with some oh, genres. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. I, like, I, I know you with your cover band, I know you you guys go all over the board on yeah, those. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like you get to play with other bands, you might get this extra knowledge almost. It does. It does. You don't stay the, in a box, basically. Yes, yes. The versatility is definitely there. You know, from, from rehearsals through the week, you know. One night I'm doing 80s hair band rock, and then the next night I'm singing Lady Gaga songs. It's you like know? you can never get you can never get <laughs> bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you're always learning a new style. You know, like uh, almost like different. even your that means your crowd is kind of different each time yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meeting new faces. Change. That's oh, kind of yeah. cool. I, okay, yeah. I'm into that. I like that part. So what? <laughs> yeah, me too. Is, what's the con? Time. <laughs> yeah, time. Exactly. Um, or get no it, gas it can, mileage. Yeah, that too, and and it can drive you nuts. You know, a little nutty from time to time, having so much to think about. Yeah, dude. And the thing that the. the the corner that I've painted myself into is, you know, listening to music, just to enjoy it, doesn't mm -hmm. really exist for me that much anymore. If I have free time to listen to music, I'm so hard on myself. I, I'm, I'm like, if you have time to sit here and listen to this music, you got other music that you should be learning right now that you need to be working on. Spending, Hell yeah. Spending time to drill in your head. Mm -hmm. So it's been a while. It's been a long time since I've just just sit down and just jam out the music and just all, for the fun of it. Are you an all instrument guy? Pretty much. Can you play everything? I play drums and I sing. I'm not really much on strings. Yeah, I've tried. I mean, I can. I just don't have the time to put the effort there. To I'm not practice. good. I'm not good at all. But for baby basic writing, finding chords. Yeah. I actually I play righties upside down, and I don't oh, really, and I don't restring them. Yeah. And that's the way I understand it, though. And huh. it, I think that came from my late brother. Uh. He had a guitar, and I thought like I was into sports. I was like, Dude, "Guitar is gay." And right when he would leave his leave his leave the house, <laughs> I would sneak in his room, sneaking in there and breaking and just, his strings. And I'm <laughs> I'm strumming on it. And I remember going to buy a left handed guitar, and it lasted two days. And I was like, I felt foreign. I was like, <laughs> yeah, but the chords make sense for sure. How long have you been playing drums? Man, um, I started actually. That's what got me started. Um, when I was twelve, I got some drums for Christmas. You know, Did and, you get the I, shitty? Uh, it was a very, very used old yeah, set. But, 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 but my first kit was made out of boxes at the foot of my bed. So I had a pair of drums. You were visualizing, oh, dude, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm playing Twisted Sister in there. We're not gonna take it. Your, mom, your mom's like, clean the room, Scott. Boxes, you know. So in my head, I'm already a drummer. Yeah. So I had to beg for those drums at Christmas, and we didn't have a whole lot of money growing up. And you know, drums aren't cheap. They're not. So my mom made it happen, and I and so I played probably two or three years then, and then I stopped and picked them back up in my twenties. And then I played then in bands for a couple of years and then started singing and then fronted bands from then on and just started playing drums about a year ago actively, really, like, again. And you're loving it? Oh, absolutely. You seem happy on the I dude, am. When I, I see, am when I see the so videos, comfortable back there. I dude, love it. Yeah, you're shirtless like Burt Kreischer. You don't give a <laughs> fuck. I love it. It gets hot back there, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what I thought I was going to do. I was like, I'm going to play drums. Yeah. I had them for about a year and... This is before I really started singing at all. And Heath Fields, we were in high school together. He got, I saw his drum set. And then when he started playing Schism, and I was like, 
<laughs> I was, yeah. And I know that may not be hard for you, but for a guy learning how to play drums, I was like, it's not easy. And I was like, all right, cool. Drums not for me. I need to get, I need to get rid of these. That's that's impossible. You should have started with ACDC. That's where you messed up. <laughs> yeah, I was shooting for the stars. <laughs> no, I, I enjoyed singing, but I enjoy. I, I love doing this right here. Yeah, yeah, uh, me too. Meeting new people, and I love. Mm-hmm. I hate when Jason always wants me to call the guests first because I want to meet you, meet you. Right, right. Like it, sometimes I don't even want small talk. I just want to you come in here like, hey, what's going on? Yeah, but it's nice to break the ice always. I got something for you. Okay. Shit, I probably already gave it away from earlier. Uh-huh. All right, you're in three bands, right? I may know at least one of them out of each band, right? Probably. Probably so, I'm sure. All right. Name this person. Okay. I was in their car. We were about to go to, to the <laughs> Walmart or get something to eat. I feel like it was Jack's. And this little kitten runs out from underneath the car. Uh-huh. And then as we close the car, the cat runs back in the car. A little baby kitten. It's about to get sad. Put the car in reverse. You see blood shoot out from one of the rims. Oh, man. It was, hey, it was so fucking sad, actually, dude. It shut down the whole day to where my parents had to drive an hour and a half just to come get me. Because I didn't have a car at the time because I was a bum. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, what band member was that? <laughs> um, You got me stumped on that one. Oh, uh, man, it was, it was it was Janessa. Okay, the I, was, singer I was sitting of- here thinking because we, we talked about her briefly yeah we did uh singer of among the vein yeah and what you guys just played on i know i'm bouncing right now but that's okay uh, you guys just played on good day alabama talk of alabama talk of alabama yeah, excuse yeah, me yeah it's well it's a good day with the talk of alabama yeah exactly which i just earlier shared a link to that um, i watched that whole it thing on my facebook so yep. uh, y'all can find that on there go watch it go to scott white's check out yes. among the vein maybe you guys you shared it on your page perhaps as well yeah on my personal page got you got you, got you but got you. yes please go follow the among the vein and we among the vein you facebook, got facebook instagram and tiktok and you guys, uh, you haven't been together long, what, five, six months, five months? Yes, yeah, very, very short. And there's there's recordings already popping out that are hot. We it's like crazy. to say, um, this is a very accidental band. Um, yeah? Uh, we like to say Kelly Clarkson is to blame for this band. Whoa, okay, well, fill me in. How okay. did um, <laughs> Kelly Clarkson and Among the Vein? You can't just stop there, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Mike, our guitarist, we, me and him are like music partners we're always in a band together mm-hmm. always doing something together he came down to uh, redline superstar rehearsal one night and he's he's got a studio at his home and he's uh he does a lot of covers record you know remakes and he was looking for a female singer to do a kelly clarkson song okay so me and ryan both mentioned janessa I'm like hey she's she's a fantastic female singer so he got her over to his studio one night and they messed around with the covers for a minute <clears throat> he immediately Threw one of his original riffs to her. What do you think about this? Mm-hmm. She threw some killer vocals on it. She's got and, pipes, dude. And the next week at, at our other band rehearsal, he was telling me, he said, uh, start telling me about it. And um, you need a drummer, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. And our other guitarist just happened to be there. And uh, he was kind of at the right place at the right time. And we roped him into it, too. And we are still, I'm going to put this out there actively looking for a permanent bass player for this band so if you guys right, we'll know share. anyone that would fit the vibe you know what we got going on um y'all come on holler at us and you guys are just we pop you. you guys are just popping off all originals yes all originals fuck and, yeah and it just happened really fast and we did the shamrocks and shenanigans festival show mm-hmm. which uh, the guy was contacting me about our previous band called halo yep which we haven't done a whole lot with lately. And, you know, me, I, I immediately plugged Among the Vein in there. We weren't even thinking about performances at this point. We had, like, three originals that we had been rehearsing on. So we pulled it together real quick and, did you know, I got the show going, and, and everything went great. Great I think responses. I, I think I met Janessa when she was <laughs> 16 or 17. Uh-huh. And she, she wasn't just doing bands. She was just working on her solo stuff uh, and – I was like, I was like, instead of you trying to form a band, you need to find a band. Yeah, because you got it. You right. get to, you can walk in and do your job instantly. Yeah, yeah. The girl's really good. She um, is. We all we all vibe together. Really, yeah, she really she broke good. my heart, but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> hey, oh, by the way, blow! I got you a gift here. I always have to give a pair of these out. That's my uh, the uh, stick company I get my sticks through. They got my name, you know. Holy shit! All, all that on. I throw those out at shows. My homies endorsed yeah, right you, now. There you go, man. That's a great. That's stick the drummer, right by the way. 
Shameless stick. plug for Excel Stick Company. Uh-huh. Scott White edition. Fuck yeah, dude. There you go. I like your signature too. It's thank you. That's cool. Well, eventually we're gonna have all oh, stuff that people bring. We'll put put it on the wall and get it all. Cool, cool. And I told I told uh, I told him that when when y'all were first talking of having me on, I told him I had some exciting news to share that I haven't shared publicly <gasps> yet. I think he told me about this, but he didn't tell me the news. <clears throat> the news. No one knows this yet. Um, and I can go ahead and share it. Hit and me. It really sucks to have. Awesome things happening that you can't tell anyone about. Um, you you guys are familiar with the band Get Sideways? Yes. You know, David Lynham's new cover band? Um, yes. So y'all, y'all are familiar with his procedure that he's about to have. He's going to be going through a kidney transplant. And he's been dealing with this issue for quite some time. Okay. He had to I wasn't find aware a, of that. He had to find a donor and all this stuff. <clears throat> so... Um, Obviously, I guess you can guess what I'm alluding to. You're looking at the guy that's going to fill his spot and tour with the band while he's down. So we're talking months, two months, maybe. Hitting the road? Yeah, you know, they tour every Thursday Dude, through Sunday, all I, these I, college I, circuit stuff. So I'm really excited about that. It's really, really awesome. I wish I could just have your camp. have your resume in the middle of the screen right now for the, for the, for the, for the it's all good, for the viewer. And it's just like, oh, you got a big one, <laughs> man. keep adding to it, man. So I've. All of my other stuff naturally be put on hold yeah. during that stint because I'll be full time for them every every week on the road. So everything I had to you know really think about that one for. So the tour bus life is that what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh goodness! Yeah. And all my, all, all my my buddies and my other bands are you know they completely understand, cool with it. They understand it's a great opportunity. Great and you get to, you get to learn a little yeah, bit of the and learn uh, learn more things that I haven't done yet. So mm-hmm. it's really cool. That's fucking awesome. My wife and my family's happy behind, about it. Yeah, family's totally behind me. You know, Word. they want me to reach this goal that I'm trying to reach. One more thing exciting yeah, thing tell to tell about. May 1st, our first single drops for Among the Vein. Name of um, that? All My Life. Yep. May 1st. May 1st, and it's going to be on all platforms? All platforms. Yep. Fuck Wherever yeah. you get your music, you'll find it. So go well, check that Well, out. I get my music off Grinder, so. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that. You don't know what Grindr is? Uh-uh. You have no idea? I don't. That's good. I'll have to check it out. It's a it's a app for meeting gay dudes. Uh, I won't be checking that out. <laughs> <laughs> Come again? <laughs> no. Nah, like, my friends that, like, screw me over or some shit, I'll, I'll, I'll make the, like, not friends, obviously, because they screw me over. I usually make make a little profile for them, put their address on there, and these guys just pull up and knock on your door, like, hey, you ready to get this down? And they're like, I don't know who you are. Just don't fuck me over. I'm not going to beat you up. I'm going to ruin your day, bitch. <laughs> Fighting's stupid. Uh, no, um... So Cold Halo, y'all did y'all covered or we all tribute? No, no, no. Uh, no. That's I'm so sorry. That was the Song Temple Pilots tribute band. And yeah. that's is that still happening? Still well, doing? That band is still there. We haven't done anything in quite a while, mm-hmm. but you know we could still pop up and do a show anytime. You know if a, if a good opportunity comes along for a tribute band set, you know it wouldn't take us one rehearsal. Didn't y'all play for the kids somewhere at, at school or something? No. I'm so uh-huh. I'm so sorry. Maybe I. I'm looking at the wrong sides. No, that's okay. <laughs> no. well, shit, so you got another band called Contagion. That's not really my band. That's uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. It's a band I joined. Correct, correct, yeah. correct. I'm kind of like a higher with daddy, daddy and mama cat. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I was like, wait, his first name's not Cat, so yeah, it's daddy and mommy cat. <laughs> and you guys, how many? How long are y'all sets? Because I feel like they're like four, four hours. hours. They are four hours. Yeah, bro. <laughs> four four hours. How many songs is that? Yeah, about fifty usually. What's the hardest? Give or take. What's the hardest part about knowing all the? I mean, how do you keep keep like up with knowing, all that? Like knowing knowing them. Like on drums, it's a lot easier than singing because you don't have to keep up with the vocals mm-hmm. and all that. You can fake your way through stuff on drums so much easier. Yeah, and if, if you're unsure, you know. But and if people, most of the songs I've been jamming in my head and knowing since I was a kid, anyway, you know, all these classic songs. Yeah, you so, just know them. So the song's already there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you're and if you're a drummer, you play. You know, you can just play it. Like there's been several times jamming people. Like, you know, you want to play this song? Well, I've never tried playing it, but sure, let's go. And you go all the way through it flawlessly. Like if you know the song. How good are you? How good are you at s- s- setup breakdown? Oh I'm, man, I, I bet you tell you. M- me and my wife Jamie, uh, she's the best drum tech in the world. And, Hell yeah! And tell, she, tell her she's right there. And, and she, uh, yes, you, you know that. And we've got a, we can get that kit 
out of the truck and on the stage in like minutes. Like we really, got, we've got a system. Oh, so you're like a NASCAR pit crew. Yeah, yeah. And after after the four and after after the four hours, I'm over there heaving, catching my breath, trying to come back to life and hang on to life. And she's already up there breaking stuff down, getting the symbols in the bags and stuff ready to go. And we're on our way out of there. And oh, I come and help. That's got to feel good. Yeah, it does. She she's great. I mean, every every drummer needs a wife like that. Just for just for like uh, people that go to shows, I, I, uh-huh. I want them to hear this. What what is something that people shouldn't be do like fans shouldn't be doing at shows? Oh God, where do I start? Um, <laughs> uh, keep your clothes on. Maybe. Okay, no, keep your or clothes. Take them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. A lot of people don't uh, don't realize how annoying they can be in bars, but you deal with it. You can't be mean to people. How, how about the guy that used to be a musician guy? Oh yeah. Oh God, yeah. Or. Uh, or uh, I've got a nephew that can play. He plays drums. He's been playing about a year. He can play any Lamb of God song you can name. He, really? He's been playing for a year. Sweet. <laughs> he's set. Man. I got to meet this guy. Yeah, dude, people be acting wild at shows huh. sometimes for real. Shit, my own old lady, instead of making it into the bathroom, she just pukes on the bathroom w- door. <laughs> outside of it. Not the inside part. The outside. <laughs> while people are standing in line. <laughs> I'm yep. like, damn. <laughs> you have a problem. But she don't though. I went to my first. Uh, it's like I went to a sorority party, uh-huh. and I wasn't even in a fraternity. I just <laughs> happened to be friends with a guy that's in a fraternity, and I see this hot girl, and she has two beers, right? Two bottle beers, uh-huh. right. and she was fine. I was like, hell yeah, the bitch is bad. And she's like, and then spits in the next ah. one, out, and I go, whoa. <laughs> Fucking wintergreen blowjob? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm out, my no, guy. Oh, no, no. But no, I, it really blew my mind. And no, I guess there's nothing against that. But typically, I'm saying that's pretty. Gross. you don't see that. Yeah. But I'm not going to say it's unheard of. But then I, I may have met two other girls that actually enjoyed dipping. In uh, not not like young girls. Like, I, I can remember, like, some old women yeah, in, yeah, my, yeah, in my yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dipping my... snuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, snuff, too. Fuck. <laughs> You ever been in like a, you ever in high school and the, are you dipping? And, and the person yeah. goes, nope. And, and I'm turns like, green. And I'm like, oh, you're <laughs> fucked, bud. I'll take the punishment over fucking swallowing it. <laughs> yeah, no way. <laughs> um, Scott, of course, I want to fucking thank you for being here. Hey, thanks for having me, man. We're going to put up some of your music. We have Among the Vein, Cold Halo, Contagion. Oops. Oh, Redline superstar. Redline superstar. Uh, there you go. And technically one more. Song Temple Pilots. That's right. That's Song right. Temple Pilots. That's all of the involvements right now. Shit, you basically have a band for every day of the week. <laughs> Pretty much. Rehearsals are they can get uh yeah, busy. Is there anything else uh, you want to share or say? Tell us. You Man, got anything I'm great? Just, I just want to thank all you people that um, you know, follow me all the time and come to the shows and support and all that good Hell stuff. Yeah. Comment on stuff and Yes. That's, our, that's our studio audience. <laughs> well, shit, shit, Scott. I fucking thank you for coming, dude. Absolutely. Love it. Oh, shit. Yeah, who was house? Um, hey, I got an idea for you. How about you go check out this episode? It's over here.